Hi everyone, Stockmo here, and hopefully you're having a good day, but we are seeing a lot of action out there, including Tesla Cat throwing my things around the studio. But with that being said, we're gonna talk about what is going on, some of the things I'm looking at because of big statements out there concerning some crypto, some I've kind of reiterated here a few times over the last few months, and uh, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. Now, of course, before we do get into it, make sure you take advantage of this right now. Absolutely the best deal I've ever seen. Six free stocks from Webull. Link down below. Click it. Put one penny in. Anybody 18 or older, you will get six free stocks worth up to $12,600, depending on the random number generator. Now, the good news is you guarantee yourself at least six free stocks. So definitely take advantage of that. And of course, I have the Moomoo Moo link. Get up to six free stocks there. Deposit $100 or more, you will get a free share of Lucid by using my link. And of course, Gemini right now, $7 in free Ethereum for uh, signing up. All you got to do is sign up, use the link below. Or you can go ahead and trade $100 or more and get $20 in free Bitcoin. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the portfolio. You will see VOO down about 4.77. Not that bad. If you actually look, it's only down 0.19% for the week. I'm not losing sleep over it. But, I, you know, it's funny because you get out there, you read the articles, everybody fear, uncertainty, doubt, everything's collapsing. No, oh, this is the end of the world. We're having a red day again. Yeah, but you kind of put everything together, put a longer term perspective. If we actually go back and look at that portfolio, you will see over the last four out of five weeks, we are now green. And so I would argue that just this little bit of, we'll say red for this week is not, hey, this is the ultimate sign. Everything's going to collapse. I'm tired of hearing all the negativity. I actually believe we're going to see some green moving forward. So now as we look at the conservative portfolio, you can see it's down 5% compared to the 4.77 for the S&P 500 index that we have kind of going on there. Uh, we will see that we're a little bit behind, but same thing, four out of five weeks. Look at this, CVE up 24% since I bought it a little bit ago. We'll discuss that in a minute. Uh, now, as we continue on, let's go ahead and take a look at the aggressive 24.23%, two out of four. We went with DraftKings, which absolutely got clobbered this week. Uh, charge point up 13%. So good pick there. DraftKings, not so much. And the YouTube crypto portfolio, 36.78. Crypto, you know, Ethereum down to 1750. Man, it has just been ugly all year for crypto. And that leads us into a few things. One, uh, we'll start with that. Here is the email. Well, let me get into crypto. There we go. Crypto firms say thousands of digital currencies will collapse compare market to early dot com days and yes i remember i was a financial advisor back then i remember doing all kinds of work in that that field it was crazy every any stock that came out that had a dot com on it anything that was computer related uh, online sales boy it blew up and many 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 stocks came out to talk about how they are going to revolutionize the online purchasing and they're going to do away with all brick and mortars, which over time, you can watch these malls just getting crushed. You know, hey, no one's going to go to stores they talked about 30 years ago. And it, it took, uh, I'd say a good two and a half, three decades, but now we're there. I can tell you my local mall is basically done. I've been around the country and I've seen so many malls just done. You go in, there's like a handful of stores still there. The anchor stores are gone. And so I would say that what they can see as the future back then absolutely did happen. The, the problem is it wasn't with all the companies that claimed to be able to do that. Everyone out there was like, oh, we're going to be the next big thing. We're going to close down malls. We're going to crush everything. It's going to be very similar with the crypto industry. Every crypto is going to come out and claim to be the next big thing. Truth is, it's going to be very hard to do that. And it's going to be a handful. And I've said this before. I thought a dozen to two dozen uh, cryptos will make it in the long term. And what I mean by that is that they will control 90 or plus percent of the market cap of all cryptos. In other words, it's only going to be a dozen or two that are going to be the big ones. And then you're going to have little cryptos that are still around. They got a little bit of a following. They're never going to be big. And that's the same way if you look at all the different websites out there. We have tons and tons of websites that are trying to be the next big thing but there's only a uh, you know a handful that really control the e-commerce if you think about it so now we go back to this it's not all doom and gloom but you can see this is what you know i remember doing articles on this when we had like 5000 cryptos then it got up to 8000 cryptos 
look where we're at now. This is absolutely just, in, it's insane. 19,000 cryptos in existence and dozens of blockchain uh, platforms that exist. Now, here's the thing that I see that's going to be very similar to the dot-com days. Several cryptocurrency industry players told CNBC that thousands of digital tokens are likely to collapse, while the number of blockchains in existence will fall over the coming years. I think that's a given. You can't continue to put out tons and tons and tons of them and expect them to succeed. It's just not going to happen. Uh, and then, of course, as we get down into what I thought the big thing was right here, uh, Guggenheim Chief Investment Officer. Uh, you know, this is he has experience. He added his piece right in here that let's see, can you see it that way? Last week when he said that most crypto is junk. And I agree. A lot of it is just not it's there's no there's no uh, utilization in terms of getting benefit out of it, you know, and so a lot of that comes out. But the Bitcoin and Ethereum would survive. Now, people ask me, well, what are you doing, Mo? What's going on with this news? What do you mean by that? I told you before, I, I've seen this, this story play out back in the dot com days. There's tens of thousands of different cryptos out there. There are more cryptos than there were uh dot com stocks back then i can tell you that and so to me this is going to be a massive repeat of what we watched back in the dot com days in other words crypto is going to be huge it's going to be absolutely huge moving forward but only a handful and that handful in my opinion is going to start with ethereum and that is why i continue to buy pretty much just ethereum and for those wondering and today you can see bitcoin down uh about three percent 29523 Last five days, not too bad. It's actually up. So I always say, but then when you start to scroll out, you can see the, the damage being done. And then six months, 44. Ethereum really getting hammered bad. 4.49, uh, 3.36 over the week. And if we go out to the last six months, 58% down. So you now I showed you a little bit about this, about being in a crypto winner. And to me, this is the crypto winner. And you wouldn't, when you look at some of these cryptos and you see them dropping, 80%. And we're talking some of the big names out there. Uh, I know uh, 50, 60, 70, 80%, Cardano, Solana, Ethereum, even Bitcoin's getting down to them levels. This, you know, I don't expect to see them lose 95% like we did in 2018 for Ethereum. I think it was like 94% and 87% for Bitcoin. But you never know. And that's the thing. It depends on the overall economy. If the overall economy can escape a recession, and the merge goes good for Ethereum. I expect to see big time movement for cryptos overall. But remember, I still only believe a handful is going to make it. And it could take a major winner to really shake that up and to get the investment dollars rolling into the ones that really matter, such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. So I am going to continue to load up on Ethereum. It's back down to the $1,700 mark where I've been waiting uh, to start to do some bigger purchases. And now we're back down there. So. I'm going to be uh, possibly pulling the trigger this weekend. So if you haven't done it, you're going to want to come over to the Patreon. That link's down below. I highly suggest coming over. I have the portfolios, my buys and sells, crypto stocks, and a private Discord with thousands of members. Come on over and join us. So you'll, you'll get to see all that stuff. Now onto some other news, though. Check this out. The oil. Remember, keep your eye on the oil. I, I remember saying this back when it was like 90 to 100. And I said, hey, I expect this thing to get up there to 150. Oh, I got so many, so many nasty comments that, no, there's no way. It's going to drop back down. It's going to drop back down. Well, you know, and uh, here you go. It's slowly creeping back up and you're seeing it getting closer and closer to 120 now. And I actually expect to see it move back up to the 150 to 250 range to, for an ultimate high. And we'll go from there. But remember, CVE is even up to date with all this red. Uh, five days, 8%. Like I said, 23% over the last uh, month and of course 100% over the last six months. Chevron's the other one I like. It's not going to have as much gain, uh, but you can see almost 9% over the last month, six months, 55%. But ERX, I, I do have one leverage play, and this is the energy two times. It's up 2% today, 6% uh, over the month, 27%, 155%. So these are kind of some of the plays I'm looking at. And uh, of course, I made some purchases today, like uh, the Patreon only purchases. You can go over and check them out. And I believe today was a good day to add on. And I am expecting to see some green moving forward. And we'll see if that happens. Now, of course, there's no guarantees out there. There's never a guarantee when it comes to the stock market. But I think a lot of the fear, uncertainty and doubt has been overdone. Every article I see out there is negative, negative, negative. And that's usually a sign 
that is a good time to buy if you buy solid stocks for the long term. And these are stocks that should be able to outperform and just crush with the smaller companies getting weak. Some of these larger companies are going to be able to devour them and it'll help them grow long term. So I am looking at some longer term buys, which I took care of today. And of course, some of the oil for the shorter term, such as up to one to two years, I'm looking at some of the energy to help the portfolio out, which it's doing, which it's doing. Of course, uh, Tesla, that's the other thing. Before, you know, I wanted to talk about that too. Take a look at the markets again. Uh, take, uh, you can see the markets down, Dow Jones, all of it, all of it's down, right? So we get to Tesla and uh, you know what? I don't even know if I showed you this, but you can see the markets overall. DraftKings, 10%, Tesla down about 9% right now. Why is it down so much? Because, you know, Neo is only down three. Uh, and you get into this and then you get to the news. Elon Musk sent a Tesla, uh, sent an email about 10 percent headcount reduction in salary workers are going to move more to salary workers. You know, and right now that's kind of nerve wracking for people out there because I think investors want to know, is this because we're having issues? What's the scoop? We need more information. And the first thing people do is panic a little bit. Like, oh, oh, you know, are the numbers going to get to that point, like orders coming in to the point that we have to start cutting staff because we have too much staff because the orders aren't big enough. And so I think that's what people think about. Usually when businesses are growing rapidly, we know they have to hire people. When they start to decline, they usually have to uh, lay people off. So I want to hear more about this as Tesla is one of my biggest holdings and hear what's going on. And we'll find out sooner than later. Now, if you haven't done it, I do bring up some things, the free cash in the beginning. It's one of the easiest things. Seriously, if you got five minutes, hit that Weeble link, put a penny in, and you get yourself six free stocks, and they could be worth up to 12600 Let me know in the comments if you have done this and what stocks you actually got, because six of them, and one of them could be a big one. So I, I would be interested in hearing about that. And that's anybody 18 or older in the house. Have them use the link down below, sign up, and they'll get those six free stocks for a penny deposit. Uh, of course, I do have the Moomoo link down there as well. You can get six free stocks there. Put $100 or more in, and you'll get a free share of Lucid by using my link. And then, of course, I do have the Gemini link, $7 and free Ethereum for signing up. Or, and I recommend this more, trade $100 or more, and you'll get a $20 in free Bitcoin. Now, come on over to the Patreon, check it out, and you can see everything we're doing and shoot the breeze with me. And that's I would really appreciate it. I appreciate you stopping by. Now let's get out there and make some money.